on West Freeway. It's a tradition for many years. And then this house at 6901 Selkirk, that's Bobby was three, Rick was eight, and it was uh, a Westcliff house. We only lived in a couple of years. We had a family celebration every Christmas. That's a TV we got, Admiral, that's our first TV. There's Rick's first bike. We had the Cherry, Jane, Cy, and Mom Pitt were there. At that time, Mom Pitt lived with us. Here's the opening of the presents. There's Cherry, Bobby, Jane, Cy, and here's Cherry reading to Bobby in his bunk bed. There's Rick with rhubarb. This old cat lived with us many years. I still think of rhubarb every time I open a can. That cat could hear a can opening four blocks away. Here's Rick with his first bike. He needed some help on it. But uh, he finally caught on. He fell over. And old Bobby's running along beside. He wanted one, too. Here's Christmas pajamas that Martha made. We made quite a to-do of those. She set the camera and then came and snuck in later. There's the bunk beds we had for the boys. And uh, I think Cherry's in there still reading to Bobby. There's Bobby and Miss Pitt, Martha, Cherry, all dressed up. Cy, I think it was Easter. They uh, went to Doris Kaiser's, Beth and Doris's mother, lived over in White Settlement. Of course, Rick and Bobby had to show off. Every time the camera was pointed at them, they showed off. But they were quite dapper in their new clothes. And then here's Rick. He was in the Cub Scout. Martha had a troop. She was very proud of it and bragged about it for the rest of her life, about her boys. One of the Cub Scouts was a young man named Ben Herman. And he later ended up working for Paul at Printing Center. He's uh, now got his own printing plant. And he's a very fine young man. Now there's Rick showing off. He's a professional now on his bike. Here's March 3, 1955. And Rick was nine, and Bobby was four. And uh, Paul had a birthday then. I forget what age he was. Cherry and her friends were also there. Here's Rick blowing out his candles. With, with Rick and Bobby and Paul all born on the same birthday, it was a big celebration. Here's a trip we took to Baton Rouge, and that's going over the causeway there. It's that's the state capital of Baton Rouge. And we pulled a little trailer down there, and Martha was pretty upset when Paul got the trailer down on a little causeway, and then we couldn't back up. So he had to get out and unhook it and turn the car around and, and the trailer by hand. But it worked pretty well. Here's a river dredge. And uh, there's a New Orleans Zoo. It was a, a uh, the weather was bad that day, but the pictures turned out pretty well. We were amazed. We were experimenting with this old Kodak camera at that time. And uh, it turned out pretty well.
use your tigers and elephants. This elephant, I still remember, had this old tire there that worn out for years and years, and they said they tried to get it away from him, but nobody had man enough to go in and get it away from him, so they just left it with him. There's the usual French balconies in New Orleans. We've been back many times since then. And the curious New Orleans uh, cemeteries, everybody above ground, if they fl put them below ground, they float off. On this trip, I took dozens of pictures of ships, but cut them out later. I hadn't seen many ships up to that time. And I just uh, went overboard. One of them was, a, I think, the first Russian ship I had ever seen. We went on a steamboat cruise. That's what this picture is taken from. Which, uh, every time we went to New Orleans, we managed to do that. There's the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge. It's rather a foggy day. And there's a brief a glimpse there of a little snake on the grass. We couldn't get the kids away. They didn't want to leave. And these beautiful homes along the beach there, east of New Orleans into Mississippi, just gorgeous homes. And we went by there later and they were all blown away in a big storm. This is the Vicksburg National Battleground and Cemetery. It's a very interesting place. Here's Cherry and Jane showing off their finery. I think it's Easter, 1955. And that's Bobby and a little girl next door. The only thing I can remember about them, they work for s, &S Green Stamps. And here's Mom Tonzing on a visit down to Fort Worth. From, she was in her 80s then, down from uh, Atchison. These are the historic old B-36s out at Carswell Air Force Base. They were called the Peacekeepers. There's a picnic in our backyard that we enjoyed thoroughly. And at one time we got our fleet out there, my old Harley Davidson motorcycle and a trailer, and the green olds and the old wreck Plymouth. The front end was smashed on Plymouth before I got it, and I kept hoping somebody would hit me and I could turn it in for insurance, but it never happened. This is Cherry's sixth birthday. I don't know who took the picture to cut off all the heads, but I guess they're more interested in tables. This is Leotha, who used to work for Aunt Gladys. She was quite a character. The uh, kids are mostly Cherry's friends. Use a ceremony, blowing out the candles. Cherry was also quite a ham when you turn the camera on her. Yeah, here comes Miss Nancy. We brought her home from the hospital. She was born on August 27, 1955. And we all took turns holding her. We were quite proud of the little girl. There's Martha taking pictures of, of her. There's a few pictures of the new, uh, the Fort Worth Zoo. Bobby was deathly afraid of that elephant. That he reached out and grabbed a bag of peanuts from him once. These old tractors were along University at that time. And it's built up now with filling stations and restrooms. This is Christmas 1955, of course. Later, we had an upside-down tree we hung from the ceiling, and at first the kids were shocked at it, but it turned out to be a pretty good idea. It gave us lots more room underneath it. But uh, 
we're still remembered sometimes for that upside down Christmas tree. There's Uncle Sire with his cap on and then Miss Nancy. And Martha looking quite pretty. There's Aunt Gladys. She was a big favorite with us. She was a wonderful woman. Crazy about the boys. And Miss Pitt, Martha's mother, she was also quite a gal. We all fought over who was going to hold Nancy. Aunt Gladys was hit a city welfare for years in Fort Worth before she retired. She was Martha's father's sister. Here's a snowstorm that uh, we periodically had. It's in January 1956. We still lived in Selkirk. It's a floozy neighborhood and there's more than we could afford. But uh, I picked the house out and without Martha seeing it and she hated it from the first time she walked in. We lived, only lived there two or three years. Taxes ate us up. And uh, they had this little hill in there, so we improvised sleds and had quite a lot of fun. I didn't particularly like the climbing up. Yeah, there's Nancy showing off. Rick was particularly crazy about her. I think he still is. There's Bobby in his rocking chair. There's a musical rocking chair played different tunes. And we got pretty t tired of the music before the chair wore out. Yeah, there's Nancy laying on the rug. And Martha was slim and slender then. This is an old slide. We bought aluminum slide. It was actually not old. It was brand new, but it was marvelous. It lasted through two generations of kids. And uh, later on, when Rick was transferred to Shreveport, we sent it over there, and the Air Force kids demolished it in two weeks. There's also Jane, slim and slender. And uh, we had the swings in the backyard. The kids get a hold of the camera and do tricks like this. Birthday 1956. They love to hold them sideways and upside down. I added out quite a bit of pictures like that. Whoever took these pictures were good at cutting off heads. These were taken on 8 millimeter Kodak camera and is converted at this date, April 28, 1986, to VCR. I'm getting redundant on the kids' names. But uh, I presume it's necessary for future viewing. And Bobby showing off as usual. <laughs> 